If the president does not accept defeat, why would his supporters? They're trying to suppress us, they're trying to break us. Joe Biden is the president-elect, but in Arizona the votes are still being counted, and the longer it goes on, the more some suspect foul play. Somewhere something's not right. The ballots are being found on the streets, you know, ballots are being submitted for people who have been dead. Accusations of widespread and systematic fraud are sweeping across social media. No credible evidence has yet been presented to support such claims, but they're coming from the president himself. And for many outside the Maricopa County Vote Tabulation Center, that is proof enough. In that one county in Michigan, 6,000 votes were changed to Biden that were voted for Trump. So I, I heard that wasn't true at all. I mean, well, oh, that's because you're fucking full of shit. No, and Biden wants to turn Trump our country into a shithole like yours. How come we can't see what's in there? Right? How come we can't observe? The, the whole foundation of American democracy is that people trust the result. Whatever the result is, yeah. right? You, you, if, you, you if trust it. If the result it. is fair, yeah. we don't care if it's Biden or Trump. Right. But as long as it was fair. At the edge of the gathering, there's a solitary counter-protester. I wanted to come and show my support for President-elect Biden, um, other Biden supporters. I wanted to show my friends who might be like worried about coming out here. You care? Is it okay if I hug you? Yeah, thank you for being here. The mood is mostly friendly. Guns are part of the culture. They don't necessarily signify intent, but their presence does come with implications. Do not go over there. There's no need to go over there. Stop giving it attention. Some more counter-protesters arrive with a more provocative message. Donald Trump is a fucking Nazi, unfortunately. He won't, he won't denounce white supremacy. Why won't, he, why won't he do it? The past four years have exposed deep chasms in American society. The culture war has at times looked in danger of spilling over into actual war. That, I'm proud to be white. Is that okay? Country, do you think you're in right now? You guys are gonna lose. You can't cheat. The situation is diffused. Cameras will go away when we go away. Let's go. Trump's supporters still believe the count, if done fairly, will keep their man in the White House. Once upon a time in America, elections were relatively straightforward. Votes would be cast, ballots counted. The TV networks would call the race, and a few notable exceptions aside, that would be that, no longer. I'm actually under warning right now on Facebook. The internet has shifted the balance of power. The narrative of a stolen election is spread online by people like Karen Wood, the Arizona state organizer of something called Stop the Steal. In the two days after the election, the group amassed more than 300,000 followers before being taken down by Facebook because of threats of violence posted by some members. They're saying anything is incitement to violence. One of the claims Karen makes, with no evidence, is that an error at a machine count in Michigan, which was quickly rectified, was widely replicated. They actually had some of these machines changing votes from, from Trump to Biden. Where, are you, where, where is this information coming from? You, you find it. That's your job. But no, where have you got it from? Oh, I've got, I'm getting it from a lot of the people in the White House that, that they have posted. That th this, this is what's happening. They and when, when you see something posted from the White House, from Donald Trump on downwards... I believe him. I believe him. Do you, do you worry about the, the tone of, of, of public discourse now in America? Absolutely. We're, in my opinion, we're very close to a civil war in America. I think Seriously? People, yes. We are patriots. We will fight to the death to not have socialism and communism come into our country. We don't want to be a Venezuela. Does it ever occur to you that perhaps your 
um, patriotism and, and your, your sense of what is right and wrong is being used in a way by somebody who maybe knows that they've lost an election and is, is using you by telling falsehoods. No, I don't believe so. But when Donald Trump says, I won this election by a lot, he's lying to you, right? He, he, he didn't, and, and there's no evidence to say that he did. Oh, I think he may ha I think he knows a lot more than we know. So far, few senior figures in the Republican Party have spoken out publicly against the unfounded allegations emanating from the White House. One exception is the former senator for Arizona. A snowflake, my hometown, it went 99% for Trump. His opposition to Donald Trump cost him his seat two years ago. Most of the Republican Party has accepted it, uh, whether they want to admit it or not. A lot of them are still playing to that audience of one, um, not knowing where the Trump base will go. If the Republican establishment knows that this is bogus, but they're not saying so, isn't that dangerous? Yeah, it is. I think it's, it's, it's terrible for the system. It's, it's not a good thing for democracy. But um, it, it will run its course, and it will say more about the president than it will about our democracy. I just wonder whether the genie can be put back in the bottle once this tactic has been used in a presidential contest. Yeah, I, I think it can. It's you know not that easy. Um, he still commands a lot of support and uh, dedication on behalf of the base. You can see that by how many are still sticking with him. People that know better. I mean, Lindsey Graham, he knows better. Uh, you know, Ted Cruz, those guys, they know better. Why but, are they sticking uh, with him? But, well, they look at the base that he controls, and they don't want to run afoul of that base. Outside the counting office in Phoenix, the vibe is definitely not civil war. We're going to stay out here until we get an answer from them, and then we're going to go to the Capitol, right. because other brothers and sisters in America need our support. Realistically, though, Joe Biden's going to be the next president, don't you think? We just want a fair and honest election. Whether it is Joe Biden, that's great, as long as it's a fair and honest election. The counting is not yet done, but the chances of the result changing is vanishingly small. Donald Trump's time in the White House is coming to an end, but the strength of America's faith in its democracy may depend on the manner of his leaving.